Boys, my name is Kangro, and Xbox is better than PlayStation, and I have my friend here to prove me wrong. So prove me wrong. Let's go. A lot of Xbox players like to say that the Xbox controllers are better, but I'd really like to disagree. I don't think they're necessarily better. It just really depends on what you like more. Okay, well, I knew that you were going to bring this one up, and uh, admittedly and indefensibly, you are wrong. Uh, the Xbox controller is far better than the PlayStation one, and I'll explain why, all right? If you look at a PlayStation controller, I'm sure my friend over here has has one, but I'll just compare it to an Xbox one. Show them. You know how the, the analog sticks are both at the bottom, like where the D-pad is on an Xbox controller? Well, you hold your hands in the shape like you're holding a controller, right? My hands are like this, like I'm holding a controller, but there's no controller in my hand. Look at where my thumbs are. One's lower and one's higher. And that's how an Xbox controller fits. They're not fitting on the perfect tips. They're not perfect because it's not a fitted controller. But my fingers never do this. This is uncomfortable. You can't play like this for long periods of time in the same way you can an Xbox controller because we're not aliens, all right? Our hands don't do this. They, they do this. This is made better. I think you're wrong because our hands are kind of built the same, right? This is what you're used to to holding an Xbox controller. That's what you're used to. But your hands are the exact same. They're the, not obviously not the exact same. But do I you think. see the problem like, here? Because look, whenever your fingers are like this, your range of motion is down. You can't, when your thumb's like this, you can't move it more like this. But when your thumb's right here, you can move it a lot farther right here. You're almost peaking your, your angular physical momentum right here because your thumb is fucking under the rest of your hand. Do you see the problem here? I think you're just wrong because right here, it's the same thing on both sides. What's the difference? It's the exact same thing on both sides. Yeah, but you get more precision, right? They're, they're two different things. This one's your looking one and this one's like the other one, right? They're, they're, there's two different like axes that controllers use, right? You don't want them to be the same. You don't want to control them the exact same sensitivity the way. Even if it fits more comfortably for you, this is better because they're varied and they're two different purposes. Like they're the same. It's not necessarily that it's just better, it's just- it's they're the, the exact same. You know what? I will give the PlayStation controllers the, uh, the HD feedback. This is like the nicest, newest Xbox controller. This is the Elite Series 2 Giga Virgin one. And the first time I used a PS5 controller, and the only, and last time I've ever used it, the first thing I noticed was the HB, HD rumble bullshit, which feels a little bit nicer, but that's proprietary. Which another thing is, is that the Xbox controller has paddles on it. Your controller doesn't. Yeah, but you bought the Elite controller. The, like, the just the regular. Xbox yeah, but the don't. Elite controller is better than, like, the Elite PlayStation controller. This is more detachable and custom. They just released it. Yeah, but it's still better. How do you know that? Because it's not as detachable. You can't detach as many things. You can completely change the D-pads. You can change... You can press this shit, and you can make the, the sticks bottom out at the very fucking beginning. You can't do that for regular Xbox controllers. This is a regular PlayStation controller. Yeah, but you also can't do that on the regular Elite controller, is what I'm saying. Are you sure? I don't think you're right. I'm definitely sure, because I know what I'm talking talking about don't look at me like that. I don't know about that. I, th I think- Actually, let's, go let's Google it. Let's Google it. No, 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 no. Let's just move on to the next segment, all right? L let's go on hold to on, the- Hold on, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I think neither are better. I think, like I said in the beginning, it comes down to preference. On my controller that I use every day. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, but you don't need to have a fucking control freak on an Xbox controller because the, the sticks are already varied. And also, another thing I will say, this, this fucking debate isn't just about the controller, but the final thing about the controller is that if you look at copied controllers, if you look at other controllers outside of Xbox and PlayStation, if you look at Nintendo Switch controllers, if you look at any, really any Nintendo controller, if you look at third-party controllers, if you look at knockoff controllers, they all have the Xbox configuration because it's better, right? You have to condition yourself to have it the other way, and that, that's bullshit. I want to go on to the next segment though let's go on to like the fucking console design all um right. for console design displayed right here beautiful sure it looks like a wi-fi router beautiful sleek Perfect. I don't know what the cum on the bottom of it's doing. This is real gamer shit right here. You remember, you remember back in my day when X, when consoles had CD drives? Fucking PlayStation Pro doesn't have a CD drive. Look, I'll give it to you, your little- Who the fuck has the PlayStation Pro? Your little PlayStation folder air conditioner looking fucking thing. It might look a little bit cooler, but this is more practical. Yours is like five times bigger, and I don't have the newest Xbox to prove this, which does look a little cringe, but it's more convenient to store, which is why yours is shittier. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. You're all hold quiet on, now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not only do you have the Xbox One, uh, One S, uh. the Series X, I just went to a friend's house. They had the Series X about here, uh, uh, like uh, somewhere right here to the PlayStation 5, right? It's obviously a lot wider. It's just a fat box. Just I know what it looks like. Box. I've seen it in real life. It's like a it's like a Vans shoe box. Yeah, so it's, it's not- Which is easier to store because yours has all the fucking little gay-ass fruity- Let's see how- 
anime here, here, I can get. I'll give get. you an example, actually. I went on vacation, and it was the first time I brought my PS5 on vacation, right? In the suitcase. Boring. Go fuck yourself. Slim. Nice. It laid perfectly flat in my suitcase. I had a little compartment for it. That big box, that's going to take up an entire quarter of a suitcase. No, it doesn't. You put it in, a, like, one of the little corner parts of it, and it's just like a little footstep, right? It makes it easier to store shit. It boxes shit up. You literally have curves on yours. You have curves on it, so if it sits... It still lays flat. It's still no, but made, it sits it's... and then it goes... Da -da 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 -da. It, like, wobbles like a no, shitty it's, chair. No, it's made ergonomically. What? No, you have a shitty chair for a console. Your console's built like a shitty chair. Your console's built like a shitty refrigerator. Fuck you. My console can be a refrigerator. Yours can. Yours is a fucking hot box. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about how the Xbox Series X's started smoking. Let's talk about how people who turned their PlayStation 5's upright had the fucking solder on their processors just start melting down and ruining their system. That was actually proven to be the user's fault. Well, actually, which That's is also not... the same for the smoking Xboxes. They just started smoking. That's what they told us. I'm ass. They started smoking because people put them in the tight little things that, that have no air ventilation. They put it in the back of their entertainment centers. Obviously, it's going to smoke. It's not a fault of the fucking system. You can't fault a person for looking short if they're wearing baggy clothes, right? I guess you could say the same thing for the PS5. Anyways, what's the, what can be the next? Let's talk about games on these, right? I think I, I think I've easily won the first two segments. Let's talk about games. Let's be 100% honest. Games on Xbox are better. I would very much like to disagree because you literally took my PS5 for a week to play Spider-Man. You were going to say this. Listen, the only time I have ever wanted a PlayStation in my entire life was to play Spider-Man 2 whenever it came out. Every other PlayStation 5 exclusive that I would ever want to play at this point is on Steam. So there's no reason for me to buy a PlayStation. PSVR is dog shit. You just buy an Oculus for $300. All the exclusives are on Steam, so there's no reason to buy one anymore. And I could have just waited for for the exclusive Spider-Man 2 to come out on Steam in like a year or two. I just wanted to play it then. There's no dire need to play these games that are on PlayStation. However, I would be lying if I said there was a dire need to play these games on Xbox, because Xbox doesn't have very good exclusives, but what it does have, what you don't have, is a better online game membership. Xbox Game Pass is so much better than PlayStation Now or whatever the fuck it's called. First of all, let's go back to the first thing you said about the exclusives, right? Not only did I just say you borrowed your PS5s and stuff, you can play literally every single Xbox game on Microsoft Store. No, you can't. That's literally what it's made for. And you can buy Xbox uh, Game Pass on PC. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. When I first bought my PC, it literally asked me if I want a free membership to Xbox. No, it didn't. It did. And I think I'm I on the Microsoft Store right. right now. I looked up Halo. I can't find Halo. Let's see if we're right. Looking up Gears of War too. That's another one. Shit. Okay, some of the gears are on here. Okay, okay. You want another good thing about about games? Since you want to pull out your little gay ass Microsoft Store, hand me the Xbox Series X can play original Xbox games, but the PlayStation Five can't even play PS3 games. We win. We win the games category, hands down. There's no debate in Not that. the entire games category, absolutely not. Yes, we do. Hands down, because we have more Including games. exclusives? Yes, because now we have more games. Because now Xbox can play more games. We can, on a Series X, you can play any Xbox game ever created. But you have to have all this backwards compatibility or all this whatever the fuck to be able to play retro PlayStation games on a PlayStation 5. You can really only do it through their little dog shit membership, which has way more shovelware than a uh, Xbox game pass which is why we win i i i think you're wrong i think you're wrong how how can because we be wrong you again again if i can buy the xbox membership on my computer and play every single xbox game and play every xbox game. what is the reason for an xbox so that way you can play the games without having to buy a computer so that way you can play the games where they're intended what if to i already had a computer then just play them on there i guess but your problem still stands because you could just play those same playstation games on the same computer through steam that are going to come out in a year or two like you said that's just a waste of time all the xbox games should be played on pc too what uh what brand of computer are you using right now i don't have a pre -book. no 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 like what's your operating system like the brand amd is that what you mean no no no, no. you're using windows right windows 11 yeah. yeah who created windows microsoft and who created xbox 
which exactly uh, proves that you can play it. Let's go on to another segment. Let's just talk about like generation to generation, right? PlayStation 2 versus original Xbox. PlayStation 2 by far. It's not It's not even close. Look at the sales. It's actually not That's even not close. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about sales. I'm talking about the not actual- just sales, but at, like, yeah, literally. Like it was literally just better. Like PlayStation 2 was the highest selling console, I think of all time. But when it comes to PlayStation 2 versus original Xbox, original Xbox was better because the only reason and PlayStation 2 was so influential is because it also had the DVD player. And the original Xbox had the original Halo, which changed and it literally made online gaming. That's undeniable. Online gaming did not exist before Halo. Halo started it. It started on the original Xbox and the original Xbox sales weren't boosted just because it could also play movies. PlayStation 2 also had a lot of generational games that grew all of us up too. Well, obviously not us, but Crash Bandicoot. That was PlayStation 1. Say that, say that a little bit louder. That was PlayStation 1. There was also games on PlayStation 2. That was also that release. I don't know why we're peeking. Say that a little bit louder for me. Peaking. So obviously Xbox wins the original generational battle. You, apparently you're just obviously winning every battle. Like what? Alright, you know what? No, I'll give you, I'll give you, just because you're going to be a little bitch about it if I don't, I'll give you the original Xbox versus PlayStation 2. I'll give you that fight because it was the highest selling console of all time. But undeniably, PS3 versus Xbox 360, you and me both know the answer to this one. Yeah. Yeah, Xbox 360. Now, PS4 and Xbox One. So Xbox undeniable. One. Okay, you're just being biased. How is it PlayStation? I don't even know what to say to that, honestly. How? No, explain to me how the PlayStation 4 is better than the than the Xbox One. The Xbox One specifically just hasn't grown at all. Like, from the PlayStation 4, it just kept growing and growing and growing. What's it? What are you referring to? Oh, yeah, fuck. that's exactly. Yeah, you're so you're so delusional. It's making you. You know what? Sick. You know what? Go ahead. Why is Why is Xbox One? No, better? no, no. I've I've defended the first two consoles. I want you to defend yours. I just think it's better. It's, just, it's just that simple. But you understand also, how you understand how every... I can give. Stop! You understand how I can give reasons to my argument and you can't. You went. I just think it's better. I'm not good at arguing. I'm terrible. Yeah, I can tell. Let's move on to the PlayStation. Let's move on to the Five versus the Series X. I will admit, if I were to get a new gen console, I'd get a PlayStation. But that is only because the Xbox One X or whatever the, the newest one is a lot more similar to the old generation than the PS5 is to its last generation. And that's the, uh, that's I think really the only major one that y'all win. Because like I said, the play, the PlayStation 2 was boosted because of its uh, DVD functionality. So we won the PS2 and the PS5. Yeah, but barely won the PS2. I won the Xbox, fuck, we're tied. And how do you know you won the PlayStation 4 one if they're the same price and they got more sales? Y'all barely win in anything. I can't even stack y'all's wins. What have y'all won? I guess sales. Sales, games. Y'all didn't win games we won games just accept that you lose like i just don't understand it baby i don't understand it all right all right that's gonna fucking do it i think that i obviously won that fight if you think yeah i think you're a fucking bitch if you think i won like the video if you think brody my friend over here won dislike the video yeah this shit's about to be the dislike ratio of the ksi video no it's fucking not i won by a landslide whether you're playstation or your xbox or not just whoever you think won and we all know that was me boys that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it's a new style uh completely sucking jay schlatt's dick with did schlatt win that's exactly what this was but i'm gonna keep doing these because they're fun and i have more topics and more people i want to talk to i don't know why his fucking dumbass face is so close to the camera right now